You ready to do this? Yes. Yes. Hey. Okay. Hello, hello. Welcome to the show. Hi. Psyche Yoda and his son Corbin are back here for another month of Loot Crate. Woohoo! And this month we got background noises that hopefully won't be coming through too much, but uh, there's been landscaping going on all day around here. I don't know. I think everybody's trying to get it done before the rain comes. Uh, I'm recording this as soon as I get the Loot Crate, essentially as soon as possible after getting the Loot Crate. And this month's theme is what? Heroes 2. Heroes 2. There was things uh, mentioned about Zelda, DC, and a hard book back, a hard back book, hard cover book. That's what I'm trying to say. So, without further ado, let's get into it. This is the box this month. It's a decent sized box, fairly hefty in, in weight there. Yeah, see? Uh, nothing too spectacular about the outside as usual. Just got the basic black color and combo of Loot Crate uh, insignias here and there. As you can also see, I'm really representing today wearing my Loot Crate shirt that they gave me for pre-ordering an entire year's worth. Um, shall we go ahead and pop open and see what we got going on here? All kinds of crazy stuff right off the get-go. There's something huge just sitting in front of me that I kind of gonna probably have to just share right off the bat. But let's go ahead and flip it around and see what we got inside for our primary thing here. That's pretty cool, yeah? We got all kinds of pretty cool stuff poking out and I'm gonna have to go ahead and just pop this one out because it is so big we need to do it. This one's called Q-Pop. It's Batman Classic TV Series uh, minifigure collectible. And this, I'm assuming, is by a company called Q-Pop. I have not heard of them before, but this is a Loot Crate exclusive. We also have, get the other DC Comics Q-Pop figures. Justice League, the animated series, Daily Planet. Um, it's got a Superman and Catwoman. But we got the Batman one here. Let's go ahead and pop this up here. And cover your faces. And can we show that? I don't think I'm going to take this out of the box, so I want to hopefully get a decent image of it there. It's essentially like the cover of the box there, and then there's two more that it shows in the back. Now, I don't know if these are through the loot crate that you can get these other two, if they made three different figures, or if this is just. Uh, something you can get from Q-Pop itself. There's also a little disc in the back that says Kapow! Way in the back there. Let's see if we can get that right there. See it? Kind of blurred out, but it's back there. It's very cool. What do you think, buddy? I like it. Now, it is actually sitting on top of some sort of a rock or maybe... Actually, it looks like an eagle's head or a bird's head, so it's supposed to be on top of a building type of thing. Um, so, again, this is definitely a collectible thing, which I have quite a bit of that kind of stuff behind us. Um, how do you feel about keeping that in the box as a collectible? That's that means, okay. That means you can't take it out and play with it, but it's pretty cool, yeah? Yeah. So, that's a very cool way to start out the, uh, the, the loot crate here. We also have what looks like a poster of sorts comes in a little tube square box type of thing to keep it from getting damaged. Let's go ahead and roll it out here. This is a Wonder Woman thing. It says she can do it and it is kind of a Wonder Woman thing. It's very retro in, in, in look and design. Uh, I'm not very familiar with the original Wonder Woman type stuff so this may be what she looked like back in the day. Um, there's been a lot of things that are kind of based off the whole Rosie Riveter concept as of late. People really latching on to that feel. So that also could be where it's coming from. But it is a very cool uh, poster picture. Yeah. I think it would do well inside of a um, picture frame. It is a smaller scale size, so it would be something you could get into a picture frame fairly easily. It is square though, uh, which makes it a little bit more difficult, but you can always have a custom a custom um, mat made for it. 
We're going to continue on here and see what we got. We have a Zelda wristband. Say what? See that? The insignia in there? I can't remember exactly what it is, but obviously it's from Zelda. And uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of wristbands. What about you, buddy? Have you ever had a wristband on before? No. Let's see what it says in the front here. Or in the tag, it says trademark of Zelda. And it's 8% cotton, which is good because that means it'll actually soak up some sweat. You want to go ahead and try to put that on? It's it's kind of like having a bracelet. bracelet, but what, wrist, what wristbands specifically are for is to keep your sweat from going onto your hands. What do you think? Yeah. You like it? We also got a Star Trek Heroes. Star Trek and Heroes don't really go together. Star Trek Heroes er, Air Freshener, one piece. It's the Spock Hand Live Long and Prosper symbol sign thing going on there. If you take a look at that. Let's see if you can smell what it smells like. The bag is either sealed really, really well, or it doesn't have a strong fragrance. Do I want to open this up? I'm going to open this up. I'll probably just put this in the in the uh, blazer, more than likely. Yeah. So, let me open this up. Oh, there you go. Smell that? Nice. Yeah. It smells very fruity. It smells like it smells like bubble gum kind of. Yeah. Like maybe strawberry bubble gum. Yeah. It's very good. I like it. There's a look at the tag there. And we'll do this again. That's just a hand. But basic air freshener. I think I'll actually use that just as an air freshener. Put it in the oldest vehicle we got here. Might as well, right? Oh, this is really cool. That is really cool. I'm getting this one, buddy. Holy cow! You hear all that outside? I apologize if that's bleeding through. There's nothing I can do about it. They've been working on stuff all day around here. This one is pretty awesome. This one is a keychain multi-tool. Uh, we got a crosshead screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and a bottle opener on a Batman symbol. And I can tell you right now, this thing is freaking heavy. It is heavy. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the thing here. Multi-tool. It is heavy. Right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Take a look at it. I'm making a mess now. I don't know. It's kind of big to, kind of, to want to carry around in your pocket or something like that. So this end, I guess you could use it as a flathead. Oh yeah, it is a Phillips crosshead. It is a tiny little Phillips screwdriver and a tiny little flathead screwdriver. And then a bottle opener in the center. It is very cool. Do I see it? Very, very cool. It's heavy too. It is all like one piece of metal. But I doubt you can see it. But there's a flathead right there and then there's a Phillips head on the other side. <laughs> and then, of course, the center would be a bottle opener. You pop that on there and pop up. Whoa, that is this, isn't that heavy? Yeah. Um, what else we got? We got this month's button, Loot Crate, and it shows July 2015 Heroes 2. It's got a picture of Batman with kind of a Batman symbol. Somebody kind of screwed up on the illustration there. They were concerned about copywriting anything. There is a look at that there for you. It's a decent one though. I think it's one of the better ones we've gotten so far. What do you think? Oh, sorry. I like it. It's pretty cool, yeah? Yeah. And then, I think what we got here is the final thing, but it's pretty dang big. It looks like there's something else in there. The League of Regrettable Superheroes. The Loot Crate Edition by John Morris. The League of Regrettable Superheroes. 
Look up in the sky. It's a bee. It's a witch. It's a giant eyeball. You know about Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, but have you ever heard of Doll Man, Doctor Hormone, or Spider Queen? In the League of Regrettable Superheroes, you'll meet 50 of the strangest superheroes ever to see print, complete with backstories, vintage art, vintage art, and colorful commentary. So prepare yourself for such not ready for primetime heroes as Bee Man, Batman but with bees, the Eye, a giant floating eyeball. Just accept it. And many other oddballs and oddities. Drawing on the entire history of the medium, the League of Regrettable Superheroes will appeal to die-hard comic fans, casual comic readers, and anyone who enjoys peering into the stranger corners of pop culture. Holy cow, they're getting loud up there. Um, we've got, shoot, 125 pages. we got illustrations of different kind inside of here um very cool stuff all kinds of cool things in, within the thing super hombre el disco de sol just give you an idea what you can expect to see in that that is a really cool looking book i'm gonna have to have a, a quick quick scan th scan through here to see if corbin can uh, read this stuff. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to, just based off of what little I have seen here. It doesn't look like uh, Moon Girl, the Battle of the Congo. It doesn't look like anything too, too terrible. A very cool little little book here. This is something worth having, right? Yeah. Looks like they have little stories for each one, but they also have a visual thing for it, and uh, get you a chance to learn a little bit about each of the characters within here. Pretty dang cool. Lots of illustrations and stuff. I'm pretty stoked about that one. What do you think? Yeah. You know what? Oh. We didn't get I... this month? What? There isn't a t-shirt. There isn't. Holy cow! We also got something here called Brawlhalla. Uh, this is White Fang Nash, the White Fang Nash Legend Skin Long Two Spear Skin Howling Skull Something or another. Welcome to Brawlhalla, a free-to-play platform brawler where an ever-expanding cast of the greatest warriors in history battle and the internally champions of the bragging rights, infinite mead, and the pure pleasure of delivering a beatdown. Brawlhalla is available on Steam for PC, Mac, and supports online, local, mixed plays, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Steam store, there's a code here for something that allows me to play it. Um, I don't know that I will or will not. I will ch check it out a little bit more, and maybe we'll let, uh, here's the back of the card. Let Corbin have this, because depending on what it is, I probably won't have time, honestly, to play it, so. It looks, it looks like it could be interesting, but, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We also have the magazine that comes with them every single month. This one's got some pretty cool art. Talking about different things, it's got Spark, Spark, it's got Spock, Batman, uh, Wonder Woman, and Zelda on the cover, or Link, I'm sorry, on the cover, and then it talks about the stuff within the cover, and as usual, it has pictures of people's uh, loot crate stuff from the past, all that good stuff. There's uh, some decent information in here about the Mega Crate and other things, uh, like a soul. Pretty cool, not too shabby. Um, as usual though, we have no need to keep the boxes around, so Can we'll, see it? yeah, we'll see about breaking it down and turning it into whatever it is, but more than likely it will end up in the garbage. What do you think, buddy? I like it. What was your favorite part about this, this month's Loot Crate? Um, I guess the multi-tool Batman symbol. The multi-tool Batman symbol? You don't, what about the, the, the Zelda wristband? My second. What about the, the collectible? Third. What about the book? Fourth. Are you going to read the book? If, you, if I say you can, are you going to read the book? Maybe. <laughs> you know he's going to read the book. He loves reading books. And he likes, so far, the comics you've had. You've liked reading the comics too, right? Yeah. So, very cool stuff. As usual, folks, if you would like to get your hands on your own very loot, very own loot crate, 
you can do so. One is new every single month. It comes out with a new theme. Uh, this was Heroes 2, so the second time they've done a Heroes theme. I wasn't around for the first one, um, as far as I know. Along with that, uh, you can do one month, three months, six months, or one year at a time. And that will reduce your cost based off of that. They did just currently change the way they're doing that whole process where they had to start paying state taxes. So if you're in a state that has sales tax, you're going to be uh, pegged for that as well. Um, but it still should average out to right around 20 bucks, depending on your discounts. There will be a link in the description if you would like to get a little bit off of your very own order. Uh, I think it's 3% or something like that, maybe 5%, I can't remember. But that will be down in the description. As usual, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget that like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos, and I will see you next month for Loot Crate. Bye!